Coming in like flare. Pretty soon the music's gonna come. How are you, Vino up? Happy Wednesday, it's your hump day. You're never gonna believe it. I had to come back at you with one of my favorite sanguiles of all time, sanguiel, sandwich, sandwich. Remember, we're gonna go slang and what it really is. Okay, I've already started preparing this pork tenderloin. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, this guy, he doesn't stop talking, his videos are so long. Sorry, I'm, start, uh, I'm gonna try cutting it down a little bit. But if not, I need the feedback, keep it coming. You wanna see the prep? I'll show you the prep. Okay, we got two pork tenderloins here. You know where they're from, International Meats. Shout out Johnny Scores. Here we go. I've already done some preparing here. I'm gonna show you what we do with some of the garlic. So you see the garlic floating around this beautiful gravy we built, which is gonna be a gravy once we cook it. We started with some water at the bottom of the, I guess you call this a cooking dish, okay? Then we went balsamic. Then we went a little more than a half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup balsamic. Again, we're not measuring anything over here. Hands McGraw, you know that. We do it with our hands and our eyes, okay? We put that in. Then we came with our rosemary, which is great on top of pork. Wherever, whatever kind of pork you're cooking, try rosemary and then come back to me and see how it tastes, okay? Salt, pepper. Bosari will not go on this. That's a secret weapon for something else, okay? We do not play around with basar. We don't screw around with old time recipe. So we got a double pork tenderloin, floating garlics all over, which will be key to what we're gonna do with this pork tenderloin later, okay? Now, uh, let me say hello, you're on the pork a little too much. <laughs> Thank you. This is called slitting a pork tenderloin. We slit it with a knife and we stuff it with the garlic. Watch this, slit. Stuff. Get them Slit. In there. Oh boy. Slit stuff. It's in there. No, the first it's in there. It's in there. It's a hanger, Sarge. What are we gonna do? Boom. Close them. Close them. Close them. Okay. We're stuffing, and we're stuffing. Well, how much garlic did you use? A lot, because we cook with garlic. Sorry. All of a sudden, she don't cook with garlic. She's one of the teachers that taught me how to cook. One of my senseis. And all of a sudden, she just corrects me all the time. It's my show, my game, game time, Ronnie Bass. Told you that. Okay, here we go. Now we're stuffed. Look at how beautiful that looks. I'm going to stuff those down a little more. Okay, okay. Can't see with your hands on the wall. Okay, oh boy. Need for the camera. Need for the camera. Hello. All right, now watch. What am I doing? I'm dripping. I'm dripping. That's going to build that crust that we always talk about. And I'm filling in. See the fillers? See the floaters? Nah, those stay. There's a reason for that. Those are gonna roast like chestnuts roasting on an open fire, Nat King Cole style. This is garlic roasting on an open fire, okay? Listen, if you don't know what I'm talking about sometimes, Google it. That's what Google's for. I was pre-Google. I've said it for, I'm 44. I've said it for 40, I've said it for the last 20 years. I was pre-Google, okay? I knew everything. Talk everything. I know my stats. If I talk it, I know it. Okay? I've said it a million times. Everybody who knows me knows that. And all you people on Facebook that are just keep so nice to me. I, I so deeply appreciate it. I want to show you how to cook during this quarantine. And I know you're listening because you're asking questions. Okay? I will get to all of you. No doubt. And you're... Is this taking a little long? No. This yeah. is how I do it. No, there she is. Okay. Now she times everything. Oh, boy. Okay, we'll get to the next thing. Okay, now I got one thing I got to do. I need a little more rosemary here because I want it to build my sauce, my gravy here. Okay. Ooh. Is that mm. sauce or gravy? Mm. Elbow. Talk to Frankie Carbs. We had the conversation today too. Shout out Nicole Carbonara because I didn't put her in the Frankie Carbs show. Hello. Shout out, Nicole. I'm sorry I forgot about you. Sometimes when we talk about your husband, it's all Frank, Frank, Frank. Okay, back on this. Cat, I have no idea how that feels. Okay. <laughs> I like that one. I had a laugh. Okay. Okay. Now look at these. Now we spread them. We don't want them hug. Oh, a couple floaters in there, huh? Too much garlic. Too much garlic. Do what I say. I've told you people this, okay? You'll be fine, okay? Now we're gonna put this in the oven. Okay. Um, aren't you gonna cover it? Oh, my, my tin foil. Oh, God. This is called the overlapping technique. By the way, Vino up. Okay, what time is it? I gotta see. 
444 triple fours, okay, may go away still. We all wish we were back at work. We all wish we were back at school. We all wish we were back doing what we do in regular life, but we're not, okay? We're gonna have to deal with it. I hope that I've taken some stress off people, okay? I hope that I've given some people some laughs. I will continue to do that. It's what I've done my whole life. It's just me being me, okay? Now, this is an overlap, okay? Where are we gonna go? Over here, we got a hanger. No, overlap, overlap, okay? Look at how nice that is, okay? Hold on, before it goes in the oven, you know what to do. For all you people who love it, vino up. I drink vino when I cook, sorry. My dad drank martinis, cooked the best food in the world for 77 years, are you kidding me? It's what people do. Sorry, it's not like we're jumping in a car and going somewhere right now. We're all home, we're all watching, we're, we all want to eat, we all want to laugh. How many games of Uno can you play? Here I don't games... think the tin foil's going Oh anywhere. my God, <laughs> I'm really? talking. The games of Uno all end, okay? In our house, they usually end with the cards against the wall, because we're all sore losers here, okay? I know your house too. We ain't alone, now we put it in. I'm horizontal there. Okay. 375. One hour. Look at it. Flip it if you want. Do your dressing. Boom. Boom. It's a flip. See that? See that? It's like playing ping pong. It's a ping pong. Okay. Now, that goes there. Next thing. You guys eat so many carbs. So many carbs. Oh, I didn't know you had fresh fruit laying around in a pandemic okay we're doing our best here okay we're eating whatever we could eat it's wartime dave finn thank you very much dave finn fireman okay this is what we do we eat tons of vegetables we're vegetable people okay hello 167 pounds started this thing at 173 got it yeah i'm in a pair of skinny jeans yeah my six pack is coming herschel walker 200 sit-ups a day it takes a lot. Just Wait, do it. Make them awesome. I wash up. Stop. <laughs> I wash up right here when I touch. Okay? These are not my fries. Similar recipe to my fries. Okay? Vino up. Okay? Now I'm coming in. Remember how I cooked that pork? You're going to do it. Call Johnny Scores. He'll send those pork tenderloins to your house. Okay? We pepper up. Pat. 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 Okay, there's our granulated garlic. This is our secret weapon for vegetables, different potatoes, everything. Use the granulated, okay? It's a great taste. And what do we do when we put the granulated on? Uh-huh, look at that. Oh, boy, snow. But now, but now we coat. Remember the coating? It's not a joke. It's cooking 101, okay? Cooking for beginners. Listen, I'm not looking to go to France and teach a class. I'm looking to teach you how to get through quarantine, okay? Speaking of quarantine, look at the kitchen table. Look at the kitchen table, hello? You wanna eat? You wanna cook in quarantine? Look who's there. I'm there, vino up, okay? It's from our guy, Joey Nardi. The little guy again. Yeah, that little, four foot one and a half, I thought we called him. So I've coated these, right? Coated. Coated. Fantastic, I ate them raw. I'm eating it raw. <laughs> I'm wipe off. If I had Purell here, I'd do Purell. Okay. So good, where's the salt? Oh my God, saltless in Seattle. Excuse me one second. That's not my wife. Oh my, what? Oh, I thought the chef tonight. All right, boom. Hit it with the salt, okay? Hit it with salt. See, I thought you were hitting it with Basari. No, I refuse to hit it. Oh yeah, I, I was gonna hit Killer. it with Basari. Basari's not going on my meat. I'm not ruining a recipe for a hundred years for Basari. Nope. I love Basari. I'll steak it. I'll pork it on different porks. Not here. Not here, Basari. Okay? This is a hundred year Nobly Don recipe that I'm bringing back. With the pork, okay, make it rain with the basari, it's like hail. 
It's a hailstorm in here. Holy mackerel. Okay. Basari strong, remember. Boom. So I've been given up. Oh, yeah. It's always too much. Weird. Because one of my biggest fans when I'm cook is my wife after, it's, uh, after the food's all done. Okay. Great at laundry, too, and cleaning the house and doing all these different things that I'm just not going to do. Okay. Because I'm a chef. Chefs do this. We cook. Okay. Now, take a picture of those. I'm putting no heat on those. Nothing. No cayenne. Little different. Boom, boom, corner. Bam. Little different. Okay. Now we let it drip. Okay. This is a different drip. This is the jiggle. Okay. We jiggle that. You jiggle that on your zooks. Okay. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. It's a jiggle. It's a jiggle. It's a jiggle. Okay. Now we jiggle. Now we flip. 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 We'll sort them out. Don't worry. Sort them out. It's like playing cards with the old, old original six. Sonny, Anthony, Jimmy V, Raymond, Joey. Benny Ponzio was in that group. Brother of Anthony Ponzio. We had a great group. Outstanding. Okay. Now he's drip. Drip. I'm sorting them out. I know. I know I'm an egomaniac. I think I'm Ric Flair all coming in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> That's how we do it. It's confidence. It's not cockiness. It's confidence. Mm. It's a little bit of both. But you got to have it. <sighs> you know what? Not my biggest fan. <laughs> Take that one back. I'm trying to give her credit this episode, and she just makes me explode. Okay? Now, we're back to reality. Boom. Got him. I'm going to wash up. Texas wash up. Speaking of Texas, shout out Chris Larvell, New England and Armitage finest. His daughter is cooking my recipes. Walking around in, again in a chef's hat and, and just saying, This man is so funny and he's such a good cook, Daddy. We got to cook like him. Larvell, we miss you. Austin, Texas. Is that seven up in there? Azalut. Boom, I got to Larvell that. Very funny guy in his own right. Okay, look at those going. Where are you at? No, shaking her head. Oh, God. Joey Shaker. Oh, Shaker. Joey Shaker loves the show, too. Hello, Shaker Advertising. How are we living? Boom. Going in. Oh, boy. Going in. I'm going to show those going in. They're going right under my pork. Okay? And they're in. You see how they're coated? Beautiful. Closing oven. Okay. 45 minutes about. Because it's been 15 minutes. We will be back, okay? Some of you who don't want to do, who are on this keto or don't want to do a lot of bread during quarantine, I understand. I'm doing bread. My wife's probably going to do more just the keto, but once she sees these Toronto rolls that were dropped off by the Toronto family, had a Toronto truck pull up, drop off all my stuff. They love the show. Reason I take a Toronto roll. They absorb. Wait till you see what I do with the sandwich. I slap it, okay, in that gravy that we made. That's our gravy. No one else's. We made that, okay? That's the big dog. And then the bambino roll, okay, which we got to cut. Okay, that's why I got my knife right here. Bambinos, you know what those are, guys. Those are grenades. It doesn't change. Do what I do. Call Toronto. Grab your rolls. They're big in wartime, dude. They will get them there. Got it? Your Mikey's guys, Mikey's girls, go get them. Okay? Wait till you see what I do. I'm going to dress those gorgeous things up with such nice pork tenderloin, that zucchini to go. We'll figure out some kind of carb on the carbo diet over here, even though there's a lot of bread here. Okay? We will be back at you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for all. We will have shout outs tonight. Everybody's on the edge of their seats. Remember, please remember, I say it every time. Why am I wearing the Yankees hat? Because I can't get a haircut. I got a barber, a cameraman, a laundry woman. I got all this. And she taught me how to cook. She was a big, big teacher on Teach Me How to Cook. Oh, God, I gave her all their props. Okay, I will be back and I will show you how to dress that up. You got it? So you know, one time. Ronnie Bass, game ball. Back at you. Vino up. I know. Like everybody ain't doing it right now. Okay, pork tenderloins are done. What are we going to do with them? Our beautiful Toronto buns. Look at these things. 
Bambino's French roll, okay? We take our sauce, our gravy that we built, right? We drip. I wanna show you drip. Monty, be good, really. We drip on one side, okay? Soaking. Look at what the Toronto, why I use the Toronto roll? Because it absorbs. It's a hearty roll. Look at, I just dripped a lot of that gravy on here. Look what happens. It's like a sponge, right? Okay, that's gonna keep the flavors in. Now, we go one side here, okay? I wanna show that. Anybody remembers Michael's Gravy Bread, North in Harlem, North in Oak Park Avenue? Looked like that. This is pork, okay? Now, I take those floaters we talked about, okay? Floater, boom. Okay, I don't wanna get too much gravy on there. Oh boy. Floater, boom. One more floater and watch what I do. Watch what I do. I smash, smash. Now I got a roasted garlic, that Nat King Cole we've been talking about, those chestnuts, okay? Roasted garlic on my bun. Look at that. Okay. But the sturdiness of the Toronto bun, you saw all that gravy I put on there. They withheld. Okay, now we cut. Okay, I like going right there. Boom, not the greatest cutter in the world. Never said I was. Okay. <laughs> She's so funny. Okay, now there's garlic infused in there. Remember, we stuffed it. It was a slit stuff, slit stuff. Okay, here we are dicing, slicing. Still never heard the guy that said, oh, he's the greatest cutter in the world. It tastes so good. Shut up. Don't taste good. Tastes good is what you do to your pork. I'm gonna go one more. On our Toronto bread. Look at this. Look at that bread held up. This is soft, where I buried it. This held up like nobody's business, okay? Now I'm gonna go at it again. Guys, if you don't believe me, 329 Montclair Lane, come pick it up. Come pick it up. I'll give you my address, come pick it up, see how good it is. Now, I'm gonna show you how you how you build on the Bambino. The Bambino we're gonna do hot, okay? There's those zooks, okay? Those zucchini that we built. Those are fantastic. Oh boy, I missed the plate, hello. I feel like I got good touch. Um, on the Bambino, where's my spoon? Michael's spoon now. It's right there. No, 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 my little spoon for the jardinier. Now, hurry up, come on. I'm gonna take one more bite of this. Please come pick this up. I don't care who you are. Pick it up. It's so good. Okay. One side. Oh boy, we got a new jardinier. Dago T, black hair flowing in the wind. Old number 77, 1988, Aurora Player of the Year. My guy, Raymond Nardi, like a big brother to me. Jardinardi. A lot of you people know it from Facebook. Okay, that's my guy my whole life. I've known Raymond. Raymond had this ship to the house, outstanding, Ray dices it all up, okay? This is his mother's recipe that he is doctored with. Let me tell you, I remember when his mom used to make the rest, make the jardinier, she had the plastic bags on her hands. That's how old, long time ago, no one was doing jardinier back then. I'm gonna spread it on one side. By the way, I love you, Kathy Nardi, okay? One side. Opa. Okay, you see that spread? Now we come in with the juice on the other side. Yeah, it looks so good. Do it. I'm giving you all the keys. It's like the answers to the test. Look at how the Toronto holds up. Why do I use Toronto band beans? They hold up. Look at the thickness. Look at this is still holding up. 
It's the best sandwich you'll ever find in the city of Chicago. I, I am honest with that. Okay? Fingers McGraw. Zooks, outstanding. Now I cut. Okay, oh boy, elbows macaron right there. Now I cut. Look at this garlic coming out, popping out. <laughs> I just never see anyone cut like that. Oh, before. really? Oh, I'm, I'm not a master cutter. That's why Go to a restaurant and say, like I said before, he must have cut this so nice, it's so good. No, it's about what you do to it. Stop it. Okay, now I dipped. Now I went on top of the jardinier. The jardinier is a bed. This Jardinardi. Ray's been making it for years. Taste Elmwood Park. All over the city of Chicago. He's been doing great. Look at his pork. Mike don't know what he's talking about? Come at me. Go up against anybody. I know food. Okay? Now I'm going to take this garlic on this side. Okay, on my tarants. And I'm going to smash. I smash the garlic. I'm going to show you how I smash it because it's so roasted. Okay? Is there garlic on that bread? There is. Now, dip I do it on that one. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. Any molly. This is outstanding. Good thing we got life insurance in case you choke. <laughs> there she is again. Everybody, that's my wife, Maria. She can't let me take the spotlight. Hello, Monty, with a Texas lick. Listen. Yeah, you're right. Listen. There he is, my son. I didn't do anything. Harry. Bye. My son walks around with a wristband on his wrist all day. He thinks this is an all inclusive. You know, I want pancakes. I want a sandwich. I want this. I want that. He's eating big, better meals here than half the world, believe me. I'm going to take one more bite. Look at how this bread holds up. Okay? I didn't toast this bread. I did nothing to it. I just left it bread as bread. Okay? Nothing. Guys, the flavor on this, I'm challenging someone. This is a challenge. Come get this. If it's not to your liking, my sandwich, I, I don't know what I could do, but it's great. Raymond's driving there. Fantastic. I don't have a fork. I'm going to go major spoon. Zucchinis so I can digest. One more bite. Wow. Shout outs to come. Go right there. You know what we do. Put Dino up with the D like Herbis. I thank you all for tuning in. Shout outs coming. If I don't get you tonight, I will get you. I'm not the guy that's going to leave someone hanging in the wind. I know everybody's talking. I can't just give five hundred shout outs in a night i'm going list by list i'm making my list i see it i shout it i see it i shout it azalu thank you i want you to show those right now if you want them everybody knows my number everybody that has my facebook come pick them up see how good it is i'm challenging you to pick it up i will leave it at my front door i'm a covid guy too leave it away I will leave it at my front door. If you don't like it, defriend me and never talk to me again. That's how confident I am. Thank you so much for all the kind words. Talk to you soon. Azalu, coming back at you, Vino up. Now we're on a shout out video. Everybody's saying, I want my shout out, I want my shout out, but make the shout outs a little less, a little less. All the people behind the scene. Nah, we don't go a little less on shout outs. That's what makes us, okay? First shout out, Michelle Carlson Matoza. Dear words from the heart, we see them all. Thank you so much. You saw my dad cook many years ago. Great friends of my sister, Donna. We appreciate, we appreciate you sharing with everybody and all the beautiful, kind words. Azalut, vino up. Toronto bread, you guys are the best. 
delivered all beautiful bread today. We got Joey, we got Anthony, Giancarlo, Jesse, and my guy Mario. Thank you guys for being there for me and, and letting us be a part of the Toronto Bread Company. We appreciate that. Pete and Nicole DeFont, Pete Scoofus and Nicole DeFontes. Pete knows this kitchen. Pete built this kitchen. Nicole, thank you for the kind words, Pete's girlfriend. All the beautiful things you've said and, and tried to just keep this show going and showing it to all your East Coast friends. They got Greek oregano and Greek olive oil coming in straight from Greece, from the Scoofuses. We appreciate it, Nicole and Pete. I shout out. When I think Pete Scoofus, I think Brad and Brian Wise. Whoa, silent on the Western Front. Haven't heard much from those two, my two guys. Okay, we'll get back to that. Remember I said that. Uh, next one, Mikey Mazza. When I think Brian Waz and Brad Waz, I think Mikey Mazza, their brother. Mikey, thank you and Nikki for all the support and saying that you've been watching the videos. Your mom loves the videos. You love the videos. Thanks, Mikey and Nicole. We appreciate it. Looking for Brad and Brian still, though. Uh, little shout outs. Little shout outs. Let me tell you what these are. These are anyone, I don't know, 12 and under. First grade shout out, Luciana Bertucci. Huge fan of the show. Been waiting for this. She goes to BCA down in Bridgeport. She's a BCA bandit. She is the daughter of one of my best friends, Anthony Bertucci. The granddaughter. Here's this family show again of Carmen Bertucci. Not with us anymore. I'm one of my favorite people. We'll have a dedication show to him on April 23rd. His, her grandmother is Josie Bertucci. Another big fan of the show. Thank you, Josie. But this one was for... Luciana and Josie, thank you guys for watching. Keep watching and keep cooking with your grandma like I know you're doing. Another BCA shout out, weird. Another one of those little shout outs. Sal Schreiber, uh, son of Nick Schreiber and Carla Schreiber. Gigantic fans of the show, I've mentioned them before. Sal's my little guy, he loves cars, he loves food, he loves the show, he loves Johnny doing comedy, Azalut. Vino up to Sal. I know we're teaching him at a young age, Vino up. It's just kind of a saying. It's it's a lifestyle change now. Here we go, guys. All right, after that, we're going Brian Malcolm Young. I work with Brian, great guy, part of the Goggin clan. He married Sarah Goggin. We got to get Mr. Gox to start watching his show, Mr. Malcolm Young. His daughter, Taylor, his son, Ryan, great fans of the show. Thanks, B. Malk, for everything you do. We appreciate it. We appreciate all the support. Yeah, I'm looking at a little card today because I'm trying to get in so many people each night. Donald Trump reads a card all night like this. At least on eye contact all over the room. Shout out Mr. Orlando, Fenwick High School. That's how he taught me. Next one, we got Peter and Scotty Gunther, 1800 Newcastle. Grew up with those guys. They're all over the show according to, there's that name again, Ralphie Massey. Okay, Peter and Scotty, thank you guys. Thanks, you're the funniest guy in the world. Yeah, they said it, not me. I appreciate it, keep watching. Another Merck shout out, Chicago Board of Trade, Georgie Melfis and the whole Greek crew. Four kids, his wife and Georgie, my friend. George's dog pound for life strong. You've heard that before with the Cardone clan. Thank you so much, Georgie. Keep a watching. Next one, we got Teresa Cozy out in Michigan, cousin of Jim Vizzini. Thank you, we see all those beautiful comments. Yeah, we're keeping you hungry. Make our dishes. You won't be hungry anymore. Have fun. Thank you. Much support. I appreciate that. Next one we go. Can't see a thing in this light. Oh my God, I listened to my wife again. Come here. Oh, my in-laws, Frank and Marianne. They've had a deal with this since 2002 and before that when I dated my wife. Shout out quadruple billion to them for dealing with me. Thank you so much. They love the show. They're addicted to Ozarks. They can't stop watching. Go to sleep. Get some rest once in a while. <laughs> Next one, we got Lance Burks, Carrie's Finest, another Chicago Board of Trade shout out. His son, Bo, is one of the best shooters in the city of Illinois. He's a senior going to Lewis College next year. Loves the show. Lance loves the show. His family loves the show. Thanks, Lance. We appreciate it. Georgie Cerilli, a Chicago Board of Trade shout out. We mentioned Jor Georgie, new Lennox Finest. But... I didn't know his three boys, Dimitri, Nick, and Alex loved the show so much, and his wife Paula loved the show so much, they tune in together. That's that family thing. I will do it again. You will see at the end of this whole thing, 
family is what keeps us together in this stuff. So if you're watching it together, I appreciate it so much. I can't ask for any more. I can't see a thing. I'm going blind here, but I am I am looking at it. Okay, Anthony and Kate Aiello, huge fans of the show. How can Anthony not be? I taught him everything he knows. No matter what he did, it was me and Anthony since kindergarten. No doubt about it. Kate gave me a great phone call the other day. Thank you, Kate. I appreciate it. Take care of those beautiful kids. Awesome. Watch the show. Diane and Nick Gironda, that older generation of the show, okay? Now we got all kinds of generations of Gironda's watching, just like we have all kinds of generations of all you guys watching. That's what we want. Thank you so much for the kind words on Facebook. Much appreciated. Maybe I will come over and cook one day. I saw the comment. I look at everything. The lawyer, Mike Cantieri, and his wife, Nikki Cantieri. Cantieri, thank you all. Part of that Chicago Avenue Bertucci clan. Mikey, great guy. Known him 35 years. I could see him at second base chewing on his mitt. Thank you, Mikey. I appreciate it, bud. All good, Mike. Thank you, brother. Robin McCracken. This is a big one. She's a support nurse at the Artist Senior Living Facility with my sister-in-law, Linda. They're on the front lines. There's COVID-19 there. They're, they, they are within it. They can't do anything about it, but go to work. So we're sitting at home, sitting on the couch, laughing, doing this, watching TV, trying to keep ourselves busy. They got to work. Pray for them. Keep them going. They love the show. They can't stop watching the show. They love the eggplant sandwiches we brought them. A salute, hats off. Joey Nasty, how we living? Thank you for being a part of the show. We're going out east again. The Trestrail family, my sister Donna and her family. All the kids sharing the show all over. Donna loving it. Stu loving it. Donna's got no choice. My sisters are programmed. They're robots. They do what I say. They have to say they like it. But it's a pretty darn good show. Okay? The tutors, Lexi Fergie and Maeve Paris, thank you for being here throughout this whole quarantine. To help my son Michael with all his homework whenever he asks, since Ella has been a bump on a log and done nothing but eat sweets during this whole uh, quarantine and pandemic, but we still love you, Ella. Bart O'Brien, the first guy to drive ever at Fenwick History, you were the best, had one of the best DJs listening to all my music, whatever I said went. How about a ham sandwich video? Soon to come, you never know. Barty, thank you. Fenwick shout outs will come. I'm gonna do about 200 strong. If you remember, we graduated 200. You know everybody loved Mikey at Fenwick. Thank you guys. Last uh, couple more to go. Jimmy Carter and Erica Rushello. My guy, Jim Carter, one of my best friends. From the heart, Jim is like a staple in this family. We can't get rid of him if we try. We don't want to get rid of him. We love him. We love Erica. Thank you. She's already told Jimmy. I guess Jimmy made her laugh for like since they've been dating. She said, Mike is the funniest thing I've ever seen. I appreciate that, Erica. Jim, I want nothing to do with you. I just want to listen to Mike's comedy. <laughs> right up. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And my last one I wanted to say, oh, uh, today a Jardinier drop-off from Sophia Maselli and Grace Maselli. We appreciate you. Big fans of the show. Keep watching. Yes, again, I'm funnier than your dad, and your dad's pretty darn funny. Part of that whole generation that's a younger generation of Maselli's now. Top, bottom, middle tiers, and then the lower but it's all there. It's a family show. We thank you. I used one swear word. I said the S-H-I-T word one time. That is it. Anybody knows me? That's pretty darn good. Family show. We love it. Game time. Game ball. Mick, who gets it? Run it fast. Thank you. Salute.